No finger marks on the knife blades, please. At Morrison's Hotel... Mr. Nobbs? She prefers roses. Lilies make her sneeze. The service is impeccable. What sweet roses, Nobbs. Ma'am, such a kind little man. The staff... Now, drinks. Albert? ...is outstanding. I've been thinking that we need a strong man about the house. <laughs> God, but isn't he a smasher? They'll only take advantage of a girl and then leave her high and dry. High maybe, but I wouldn't say dry. <laughs> <laughs> and appearances. Mr. Hubert Page is working in the morning, and he's come over and asked us for a bed. With me, ma'am? Yes, Mr. Nobbs. With you. Are deceiving. Jesus. You're a woman. You won't tell on me. What's your name? Albert. Your real name? Albert. You don't have to be anything but who you are. Look at how you've survived all these years. You've worked hard and you've saved your money. You've it all stashed under the mattresses at Mr. Nobbs. <laughs> Sing to I've been thinking I might purchase a little shop. A woman could serve at the counter. You're not thinking of taking a wife. Who's the lucky lady? I was wondering if you would come out for a walk. Are you asking me to walk out with you? Sure, why not? There's a whiff of money, I think. Hush, would you like to go in? All right. Why aren't you in fancy dress? I'm a waiter. And I'm a doctor. We are both disguised as ourselves. He's a freak. He has manners, at least. Well, his manners won't get you to America now, will they? We'll make a great success of our shop, and our wedding will be a great wonder. What kind of man would ask a girl to marry him without ever having kissed her? There's something I have to tell you. He won't take you to America. He'll leave you here. I'll take care of you. Why don't you say to me what you're saying to her? Joe, stop! Maybe we'll find there the key to your dreams. So you just lay your head down, darling. I think you are the strangest man I've ever met. Sleep now. The 1995 Academy Award winner for Best Foreign Language Film is now on home video. The Los Angeles Times calls Antonia's Line a remarkable family chronicle, exuberantly made, beautiful, and magical. Siskel and Ebert give it two thumbs up and call it a very special film. Antonia returned home to raise her daughter Antonia. and lay her mother to rest. She renewed her old friendships. And together they lived, they laughed, and they fell in love. Antonia's line grew, and she knew it would go on forever. Critics adore Antonia's line. Entertainment Weekly calls it wonderfully earthy, funny, and sexy. Detour Magazine hails it's the best film of 1996. And Movies and Video says it's as compelling as the irresistible comic magic of like water for chocolate. Antonia's line. Is it still raining, my love? Yes, my love. Remarkable. And I am bored to death with it. Bored to death with this place. Bored to death with my life. Bored to death with myself. What was that, my love? Nothing of consequence. Nothing. Are you willing to go to Bleak House? Yes, sir. It sounds dreary to me. <laughs> Not dreary at present, my lord. Now we come to John Dice and John Dice. The most famous case in Chancery. Yeah. A great deal of money depends on it. A long time ago, a man named John Dice made a great fortune, but he seems to have made more than one will. So, no one knows who should get the money, and it's been in dispute ever since. We shall be rich! <laughs> 
I have something to tell you. Something so dreadful, I'm not sure that I have the courage to speak the words. That's Lady Deadlock, is it? She's a very fine lady. A beauty without peer. There's some mystery here. The great lady had a secret. How long have you known? I have suspected for a long while. And now you are going to expose me. There is a price to be paid for acts of defiance. You may be sure that calamity and disgrace is coming to the house of Deadlock. I thought we had an agreement. If I wish to protect my secret... It is not your secret any longer. It is my secret. You had better beware. Nothing lasts forever. Your time has come. Who's there? Bleak House, now on DVD from BBC Video. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You are in at the beginning of something amazing. The very best that London has to offer. We are going to show the world how to make shopping thrilling. Good morning, Mr. Selfish. I want merchandise that people will desire. I want merchandise that people don't even know they will desire until they see it right in front of their eyes. We are going to dazzle the world. Yes, Mrs. Selfish. You've been creating quite a stir, haven't you? We're giving them style, glamour, razzmatazz. We need to put on a show. We are making history here. They should be battering down the door. They should be swarming all over us. Pack your bags, ladies and gentlemen. Go and bring the world to Selfridges. Mr. Selfridge, opening soon on ITV1. I suppose you're going to Bellamont. For a week. How delicious. I asked him here on purpose for you. Why don't you say it? I have the reputation for being on the hunt for a husband. Isn't marriage your vocation? Isn't it what you're all brought up for? Well, I certainly haven't succeeded. But you will marry someone very rich. I generally get what I want in life. Now all I want is the woman. Miss Lily Bart as Summer by Watto. It is a pity, though, that Lily makes herself so conspicuous. I've never seen you look more lovely. You're rather a responsibility in such a scandalous place after midnight. He wouldn't stay with her ten minutes if he knew. Knew? If he had positive proof. I have something you might like to see. I have no idea why you have brought these letters. To sell them. A clever woman would know just when to play her cards right. But Lily's never been very clever in that way. You cannot want this! I need your help. The only way I can help you is by loving you. Well, that isn't playing fair, Lily. You're dodging the rules of the game, and now you've got to pay. I will be disgraced. I consider that you are disgraced. Husbands are expected to be like money, influential but silent. I know that there have been times when you've been worried. A married man should not have the burden of being seen alone with a single woman. If you wish to keep your reputation intact, tell him nothing. Talk about love making people jealous. It's nothing to social ambition. Why is it that when we meet, we always play this elaborate game? 